There was another small earthquake this morning in eastern Connecticut, the 12th in a week. Nobody seems to know why. Here's Jerika Duncan. In the last week, rattled Plainfield, Connecticut residents have made more than 300 calls to 911. I just had a big explosion. I don't know what it is, but my whole house shook. Right, it's coming from all over the area. I'm getting lots of calls, ma'am. Marion Diggs says she's felt every earthquake. I was sitting in bed drinking my early morning cup of coffee before everybody got up, my time, <laughs> and all of a sudden I heard this loud boom. People here have reported minor damage from the 12 earthquakes that have hit between the towns of Danielson and Plainfield. Most have been under a two magnitude. The largest occurred Monday morning at 3.1. Seismologists at Boston College Western Observatory are collecting data on the frequent tremors, hoping to find out why the so-called swarms are happening. Dr. John Ebel. We've had a few scattered epicenters in the past from that part of the state, but uh, this is something that's new for us. Scientists tell us earthquakes are usually caused when underground plates move from side to side. In Connecticut, the plates are moving up and down. Plainfield Police Chief Michael Supernot says without answers, the phone calls from worried residents continue. We can't put our finger on it, and before you even know what's happening, it's over. It's the talk of the town right now? Yeah, it's taken up a lot of our time. I can honestly say I think for a week I've gotten no police work done. Hydraulic fracking has been blamed for causing some earthquakes in Pennsylvania and Oklahoma, but, Bob, officials here have ruled out man-made disturbances as a cause. Okay, Jerica, thank you.